Guys, thank you so much for always tuning in for the Penalizer TV. Uh, I'm really, you know, grateful for that. Uh, today, I'm gonna bring, you know, uh, something really uh, interesting. You know, 10 hacks how to, you know, to stay hydrated for this uh, Christmas party season. So uh, it's really important for us, you know, to always stay hydrated. I don't know if you guys watched the last episode, but in the last episode, I was talking about uh, uh, how to, 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 you know, to avoid uh, drinking too much alcohol uh, for, you know, to have a, a better uh, uh, men's vitality. So, you know, uh, how cold, how alcohol uh, affects, you know, uh, 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 our, vital our vitality. Well, uh, alcohol affects, you know, directly on our body hormones and uh, some of these hormones uh, control our, our erections so you know that's the trick there so today you know i compiled you know a list of 10 hacks you know that can help us uh to stay hydrated you know during this uh fiesta season this you know party season so i have writing you know writing uh, writing them down you know and these are uh, 10 10 uh 10 things you know that that, that i'm gonna mention here Five of them are food and five of them, you know, are drinks besides water. So I have a list here and I'm going to start with the first one to go straight to the point. Uh, and this list, you know, put, you know, listen to this. This can help you a lot. The first one, I'm going to start with the foods. The first one is the watermelon. I know that you have heard a lot of times, you know, plenty of times that watermel watermelon, you know, I mean, I mean, hello, look at the name, watermelon. Uh, watermelon, but check this out. Watermelon, you know, this fruit is comprised of 92% water. That's why the name. In any case, it's salt, calcium, and magnesium is the thing that makes it perfect for rehyd you know, rehydration. And it's indicated by a recent report uh, at the University of uh, Aberdeen Medical School. Number two, celery. Yeah, celery. Somebody, you know, people think that celery is only, you know, used on, on chicken wings. No. Celery, you know, frequently ignored uh, bay, you know, it's much more than chicken wing trim. So celery stocks are around 95% water, high in fiber and plentiful in minerals, including potassium and vitamin K. Really important. Number three, cucumbers. Regardless of how you cut them, you know, and, and bones them, uh, cucumbers keep cool at the main spot on the rundown of waterlogged leafy foods. At 95, 96, sorry, 96% water, cukes have no suck fat or cholesterol and are high in vitamin K, vitamin B6 and iron. Number four, strawberries. Yes, yeah, strawberries. Strawberries are a sweet, you know, treat ideal uh, for remaining hydrated. They are 92% water, the vast majority of any berries, of any berries, and you know, and are stacked with fiber and vitamin C. Number five, lettuce. Lettuce. Iceberg lettuce might be 96% water, yet is not known for much else in the nourishment department. More extravagant plate or mixed greens and sandwich toppers, including butterhead, butterhead, uh, romaine, and spinach, are all the more uh, balanced decisions. You know, balanced decisions, uh, uh, and still fuel your hydration. Now I'm gonna go with the drinks. You know, the drinks that you can besides water, the drinks. So the first one on the list, I got fat-free or skim milk. Study shows milk is superior to water and, uh, and sports drinks for rehydration and recuperation after exercise. Correct, particularly, you know, uh, chocolate, chocolate milk. That's the particular one. Simply make sure to pick a slim down container since the fat, uh, since the fat in entire milk can postpone liquid replacement. Really important. Number two. This one you probably have heard a ton of times. Smoothies, smoothies, you know, that's why, you know, they're really, they're really <laughs> famous here in, in, in Miami. Smoothies, they're yeah, a smoothie place in every corner. Smoothies can pick, uh, you know, can pick only one hydrating choice. Slurping down, you know, a, a do-it-yourself smoothie is an incredible method to join your preferred flavors into a one healthy, fuelly glass. There are many smoothies receipts online uh, and you know that you just can you know download and 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 and, and do it yourself depending you know on your needs you know if it is for a hangover if it is you know to for for better vitality whatever you go online and you're gonna find a lot of receipts for smoothies everywhere and like i'm telling you here in miami they there are a lot of stores you know and they're really famous probably uh, where you live too so number three sports drinks 
This one you already know it. Sugar sodiums are beneficial things with regard to sports drinks. Uh, notwithstanding the electrolytes and protein, the sugar and sodium can take your body back to a juice quicker than water after an overwhelming exercise and during more than an hour and a half. So it works for exercises, but you know, it, the same thing happens, you know, when you get a hangover after all these parties, you know, and all this boozing, right? Number four, coconut water. Compared to sports drinks, coconut water is low in sugar while still wealthy in potassium. What's more is unsweetened assortments can be very high, you know, very hydrating. If you like, you know, it's one, it's one of, a, of a kind taste. Uh, in, and, it's, and it, as indicated by an examination in the medicine and exercise in sports and exercise, the all natural refreshment is viable in re rehydrating after a light exercise. If it is a more rigorous, you know, exercise, uh, uh, you will need, you know, it will come short. You will need, you know, something stronger, probably uh, like the ones I just mentioned uh, before. Number five, coffee. Yes, coffee, coffee. You know, isn't an espresso a, a diuretic? A lot of people, you know, uh, uh, ask me, you know, uh, it, it, because I was taking this idea with a friend and they told me that, you know, that that the popular thing on coffee is that, you know, it's a, it's a diuretic. Yes, it's true, but, you know, but however, an ongoing report on Plus One exposes the misbelief that, you know, it likewise has caused dehydration. Not exclusively will you, you know, will your everyday cup add it to your water needs, will add to your water needs, Coffee can give you a more honed memory, support athletic stamina and performance and decrease the danger of numerous uh, genuine sickness, including diabetes and coronary illness. Really important. Take the notes. This can help you, you know, with the hangovers and a lot of other things. All right. So at the end, how much water do we need? Well, uh, there are some studies, you know, that says, you know, that that the 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 old the old uh, meat that they used to say ah eight hours of of, of oh, eight, eight cups of water a day uh, will do it. Uh, some studies say that you know that that's not a, a good re recommendation. Ever since you know women should be around eleven cups and men should be around fifteen cups of water a day. Another thing that which which is really important is that uh, twenty percent of the water that you consume that you should consume during the during the day comes from foods. It should come from foods. So you know you got you know eleven cups from women water, and you got fifteen cups uh, of water for men. So you gotta you know you can balance it you know with the uh, some foods that I just mentioned here you know and drinks on the other side. Okay, so you you know you know better. But they say you know that that. Uh, you should never, you know, stop drinking till you get enough, enough water. I'm talking about water. You should not uh, stop drinking till you get enough water. That's like, you know, like you never stop drinking water, period. If you feel full, then you're, you know, you're good to go. But if you still need, you know, feel like drinking more water, keep drinking water. So the old meat of uh, of 80 uh, cups of water a day, blah, blah, that's that's all news. That, that doesn't work anymore. And it's not a re recommendation by experts, okay? So... This is it. This is it for today, and uh, I just hope you know that you guys have found this information really valuable. And it is, you know, uh, you, you know, ever since we we're in the fiestas right now, going a lot of partying, a lot of drinking, and you know, we need to stay, you know, hydrated, you know, in case you know uh, we are we are with with our partner, and we need you know to stay, you know, uh, uh, on point, on touch, and on point. All right, so. Thank you guys for your time. You know, I just hope, you know, you guys are having a great uh, day, like I just said. And see you guys on the next one. Gracias. Bye. Baby, when I saw you last night, all I knew it is you, what I want in my life. The booty got me thinking, you know, you're perfect.